We now want to find the slopes of both vertical and horizontal lines. Recall that equations of the form y equals any number are always going to be horizontal lines. Remember the memory trick, hey, horizontal as y equal. And also that equations of the form x equal any number are always vertical lines. Now conveniently, all horizontal lines have a slope of zero, and all vertical lines have no slope. Let's look at some specific examples. Suppose we begin by looking at the slope of the line y equal negative 2. Notice there's no x, so you should recall using the memory trick a, hey, horizontal has y equals that it's going to be a horizontal line. But if x is 0, y is negative 2. Let's create a table of values. If x is 2, y is negative 2. If x is negative 2, y is negative 2. So let's plot these points. So we have 0, negative 2. We have 2, negative 2. We have negative 2, negative 2. So our line will be this horizontal line, y equal negative 2. Now to find the slope, you recall, we have m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So we could take, we could call this one x1, y1, and we could call this one x2 and y2. So we take y2, which is negative 2, minus y1, using parentheses, divided by x2, which is 0, minus x1, which is negative 2. So this gives us 0 divided by 2. So the slope is equal to 0 for this line. Once again, anytime you have a horizontal line, the slope will always be 0. Suppose so now we want to find the slope of the line x equal to negative 1. In this case, if y is 0, x is negative 1. If y is 1, x is negative 1. If y is 2, x is negative 1. If y is negative 1, x is negative 1. Let's plot these four points and see what we have. Negative 1, 0. Negative 1, 1. Negative 1, 2. Negative 1, negative 1. I think we definitely see a pattern here that we're looking for a vertical line. x equal to negative 1. Once again, if we're going to find the slope, we can use our slope formula. m equals y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. Let's call this point x1, y1. Let's call this point x2, y2. So we take y2, 0, minus y1, which is negative 1, divided by x2, which is negative 1 minus x1, which is negative 1. So we have 1 in the numerator, 0 in the denominator. Little flag goes up, 0 in the denominator. This turns out to be undefined. Or when we come to slope, we say there is no slope. So here's the graph. x equal to negative 1. There, in fact, is no slope for this.